Hello, my name is Yanay Chavez, and for my banned books assignment, I am going to be reading The House in Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. This book is found under the Arizona banned books list, and I chose this book because I think it's, it's important for us as educators to present literature that is culturally relevant to our students and to bring in alternate perspectives into the classroom. I am going to be reading page 10 from this edition, um, and the chapter is called My Name. In English, my name means hope. In Spanish, it means too many letters. It means sadness. It means waiting. It is like the number nine in muddy color. It is the Mexican records my father plays on Sunday mornings when he is shaving songs like sobbing. It was my great-grandmother's name, and now it is mine. She was a horsewoman, too, born like me in the Chinese year of the horse, which is supposed to be bad luck if you're born female. But I think this is a Chinese lie because the Chinese, like the Mexicans, don't like their women strong. My great-grandmother. I would have liked to have known her, a wild horse of a woman. So wild she wouldn't marry, until my great-grandfather threw a sack over her head and carried her off, just like that, as if she were a fancy chandelier. That's the way he did it. And the story goes, she never forgave him. She looked out the window her whole life, the way so many women said their sadness on an elbow. I wonder if she made the best with what she got, or was she sorry because she couldn't be all the things she wanted to be. Esperanza. I have inherited her name, but I don't want to inherit her place by the window. At school, they say my name funny, as if the syllables were made out of tin and hurt the roof of your mouth. But in Spanish, my name is made out of a softer something like silver, not quite as thick as sister's name Magdalena, which is uglier than mine. Magdalena, who at least can come home and become nanny, but I am always Esperanza. I would like to baptize myself under a new name, a name more like the real me, the one nobody sees. Esperanza, as Lisandra or Maritza or Zizi the X. Yes, something like Zizi the X will do. I'm also going to be reading page 74, and the chapter is titled Four Skinny Trees. They are the only ones who understand me. I am the only one who understands them. Four skinny trees with skinny necks and pointy elbows like mine. Four who do not belong here, but are here. Four raggedly excuses planted by the city. From our room we can hear them. But Nanny just sleeps and doesn't appreciate these things. Their strength is secret. They send ferocious roots beneath the ground. They grow up and they grow down and grab the earth between their hairy toes and bite the sky with violent teeth and never quit their anger. This is how they keep let one forget his reason for being they all droop like tulips in a glass each with their arms around the other keep 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 trees say when i sleep they teach when i am too sad and too skinny to keep keeping when i am a tiny thing against so many bricks then it is i look at trees when there is nothing left to look at on the street for who grew despite concrete for who reach and do not forget to reach for whose only reason is to be and be thank you